Welcome back to the School of Calisthenics. It's Chris Maxwell here from Preston North End. I invited Tim and Jacko up to show me some stuff. Whole bottom arm push. So one of the things that we're looking for in that top arm position is whether we can get an active hang. So we can talk about dead hang, active position by squeezing down shoulder blades together. If we can do that and keep the midsection tight, we don't want to arch the back, then we're just starting to keep the shoulder in a good position. My job then and how we're going to try and link in with the flag is kind of shift that weight onto one side and just kind of hold a stable line. So then we're now starting to think about something which might be relevant from a keeper's perspective is can I actually create this lateral line and from a flag can I start to pull through into that shape. So if we're thinking about how we're going to start to link shoulder, hip and core into lateral based movements, that's a reasonable starting point. And it might just be that the human flag is like a manifestation of actually you just got really stable shoulders and you can create some force and some lateral I'll positions. Just like that. And then shoulder blades back yeah, and down, yeah. lock that midsection so that use that hollow body position like yeah. a different hand stand. Good. Something like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Other side. Maybe you just tip one over the bar. Good. Just try to really keep that shoulder in the socket. Weak for that side. So, um, have a look, see if you can drop into, uh, let's go, see if you can wind that shoulder up. So, if we just let it go slack, try and go, you can go, go active hang dead. So let it go slack and then see if you can pull yourself into that position. Back out and pull it back at the bar. So in that position, I'm gonna try and twist my thumb behind me. So it might feel like I wanna unwind. So I've got to bring it back, keep that shoulder still, but I'm trying to basically squeeze that elbow so it's going to go in. So it's, so yeah, that's yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And try not to swing, like, just get yourself stable, so you, like you were swinging then, which is just adding in an extra. There you that's go. it, good. And then, yeah, try and pull it in from there. Nice. Yeah. <coughs> so it's that downward force. There's a little bit in there, like the handstand, about starting to think about, can we create length through that lateral chain? So if you're gonna drive the hand in, pushing the shoulder away, and rather than like the active hand where pulling the shoulder into the socket, the bottom arm is actually pushing the shoulder out. Yeah. So again, if it, the sum of that, that, uh, that transfer is if you're gonna try and make yourself long and reaching for, for balls that are going out wide, and there's, there's a nice sort of integration with the core and the shoulder in that. So, and like what um, the SNC coach said at the beginning about that, anterior like strengthening the shoulder through. Yeah. In those outstretched, out you this one before, do you get those? So, uh, oh, turn, so you can see you do it though, I think. Turn the hand out slightly just to try and open that shoulder up a little bit. And then your feet can be um, separated or if you get good on one side. And then the idea is I'm not, I don't want to be slumped in here. I want to be driving that away. So I'm literally, I'm not pushing up, right, just I'm also a, pushing um, away. So what's it called? At an angle, like a T push up. So yeah, or side bridge, yeah. yeah. But rather than a side bridge tradition, it might be very vertical. We want to try and get some, some position where I'm actually so going to be going straight through this. Yeah, and I'm going diagonally, yeah. My arm's going straight into the shoulder, and I'm pushing and opening up. I think it would be nice to come actually through and rotate, and try and rotate and push, and get that movement away. So as you get better, try and slide those feet further and further and further away, so you get more of an angle at that arm as you push away. Good, yeah, come keep down and like keep line. that control as you come down and rotate. Uh, yeah, really drive that hand hard into the floor. So you can yeah. yeah, that's the one. So you're almost like using your shoulders to push your hips up. On the and then giving this top arm something to do as well, rather than just being a passenger in the road. There you go. And that's a little bit of stability on that top side. Cool. And then swap. I've got to talk that off. <laughs> <laughs> so the first push in the flag would be like one push and one pulling, but we're getting some nice shoulder activation and stability from both sides, making them both do something. Right, bottom arm pushes hard out. I'm just try and think about that top arm. You know when you went into that, so that's hang, yeah. and then start to bring that oblique on. Let's just try and think about the same thing in that shape. We just use these two crossbars because that's just further away. You're never going to be. You're not on the same vertical line, so you'll be at an angle. But it gives you the chance to feel that um, that push and pull. So you're getting that pull. Yeah. Pull the hip into the shoulder. This is one of the key things to keep. Don't worry about your legs moving. So just make you pull your hip up to that shoulder. That's nice. Yeah, hold there and just try and hold it. So go slower and hold it. Slower and hold it. Push, push, push and pull. Good. 
Bill. Yeah, just go 45 degrees. Yeah. That's it. And then you try to pull that. To Forget it. this, because it's yeah. one <laughs> <it's good. laughs> trick pony. So just put, put the power on, push and pull. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Pretty good. Yeah. Very nice. It was decent. So I reckon if you want to. Thanks for coming. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'll push out. Are you push out, Craig? Team challenge, I'll